Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. It is Tuesday, March 21st. The month of March has literally just sped by. I can't even believe it's already the end of the month. But anyhow, child, it's a lot going on, so let's go ahead and get into it. So what's going down is basically this. There's still a lot of drama going on with the whole Escape and SWV situation. So last night, Tamar's soon-to-be husband, or I think they're married or they're engaged, she met him on this show that she's doing called The Queen's Court. His name is Jeremy Robinson, and I believe this is her fiancé. might be her husband. I'm not sure. But basically, he is now speaking out as well. And this is what he had to say about the situation with Tamar and Todd. So he says, for the record, yes, I did have a conversation with Todd about what he said to at Tamar Braxton. He immediately seemed embarrassed about it, apologized, and wanted to make amends for saying, you know what it is. He tried to rationalize why he said it, but I stopped him and said, it should have never happened. I then asked him to clear it up with Tamar and apologize in person. So it looks like Tamar Braxton's Prince Charming came through and had to kind of check Todd and let Todd know about himself and said, you know, Todd, you need to be a man and apologize to her. Now, in the same time, there's an old clip going viral on Twitter where if you guys remember, this was like years ago on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey, when that was a dope season, when Apollo was out and they were all about to fight. It was a crazy season. But in this particular scene, Peter and Todd were getting into it. Then Peter kind of got into Candy's face and Candy was upset. And she was saying that no man has any business getting in a woman's face. So a lot of people are pulling this up and they're adding Candy like, is this you, sis? But you're saying that Todd didn't do anything to her, but her fiance is saying that Todd did. And if this is your logic from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, then you should be making excuses for Todd. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Real straight. No, 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 for real. No, let's yeah, be what? Here comes Peter bucking up his chest at me like he gonna do something. Like, you don't walk up on a woman like that, you know? Like, you checking me. I'm no. talking about her man, honey. This is my man. Everybody talking about my man. My man. I'm just... Oh, I'm so tired, child. I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I will drag you in this bitch. All right, y'all just... <laughs> <laughs> Child, y'all just watch that clip. That is when the Real Housewives of Atlanta was golden, honey. I mean, the show has changed so much, but that's when it was in its golden era. So a lot of people were bringing that up to Candy's attention. That was one of the best episodes, Child, and we were all here for it. That was iconic, okay? So anyhow, now we fast forward to today. We kind of thought the drama kind of died down yesterday. Oh, hi, y'all. Was y'all mad when I said I sold 30 million records, bitch? Hell no, we sold 30 million <laughs> records, bitch. One voice, one song. That's right, I is we. We get over here. <laughs> <laughs> But now, um, Lily's been kind of going back and forth with fans and addressing certain things on social media. And then Akbar V, who is Candy's cousin, decided to involve herself as well. So I want to go ahead and read you some of the responses that Lily was saying back to people yesterday. Um, as all of this was playing out on social media, she was actually, you know, it's taken up for her group via Twitter. I don't think they have a podcast or like a speak on it like how Candy does. So she was responding back to people on social media. So I'm just going to read to you guys some of the things that Lily was saying. So somebody says, Lily, we love you and we see what's going on. The amount of lies that came out on that group keep coming out. Shameful. Love how SWV is dealing with this off camera like a dot. Lily says, I hate it all. Trust me. Somebody else says the Brad said y'all should close because Escape put on more of a show and all Escape sings plus Escape is in reality television, etc. 
She needs to worry about her own shit. So then Lily replies back and says, child, she's supposed to say that. They're all so, so deaf. Fuck out of (laughs) here. And then Lily says, I hate that this is even a conversation piece. I said what I said and the music will stand. And at the end of the day, the world is singing weak. SWV is dope as fuck, period. Too blessed to be stressed. Hashtag SWV. Hashtag Queens of R&B. Hashtag Bravo. Then somebody else says, no, they won't. Escape be selling out shows without SWV. And Lily replies back and she says, and we don't need them either. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Somebody else says, it's about billing. We don't want to know what Tyrese fees are. If they're comparable or more than escape, escape than headlining would make sense. But escape isn't interested in taking a pay cut for anyone, for any man or woman or other. They act like it's more than that. So Lily says this. What pay cut? We didn't ask the artists to take pay cuts. We honestly don't give a damn. We're good over here. SWV's business is doing what it needs to do. Then she says, this ain't about no money. Our songs are so dope. We can't just run it. We can't just run it in the way it needs to be ran. Their money doesn't mean shit to us respectfully. We were doing this because it was a good look for girl groups and our fans to see us together doing something that's never been done. Then she goes on to say, SWV will never ask anyone to take a pay cut. This collaboration was never about SWV or Escape. It was about us. But when us turns into we, then me, then you get a circus on the internet. It ain't never been about a coin. We get ours, they get theirs, everybody eats love. Then somebody says, Candy and Tiny are very humble. They're richer than everyone put together. Lily says, and what does that mean for my life? They don't pay me, not my concern. I have my own employees. Somebody else says, right, and the last time I saw them was on reality TV, Lily was broke. Lily then says, oh no, she wasn't. Sorry, been past that chapter, LOL. Somebody else says, sis, y'all would not be relevant if it wasn't for Candy or at Tiny Major Mama. Humble yourselves. <laughs> Lily says, you're a kid. You have no idea. Got a well-oiled machine over here, Miss Pac-Man. So after that, everything kind of died down. Then all of a sudden, rapper Akbar V, who is also Candy's cousin, decided to involve herself in the drama, Okay. So Akbar says, I've been chilling, but y'all not about to play with my cousin. And that's just that. We forgot she's the most paid. And also at Tamar Braxton, her at Lily Lyons, hashtag Coco SWV. Then she also goes on to say, why is everyone ganging up? Let SWV and they handle differences. Why do at Tamar Braxton, her have to involve herself? Well, that's a great question. Maybe that should be one that Akbar also asks herself. Akbar, this has nothing to do with you. You're not a part of Escape either. Neither you or Tamar should be in the mix of this, but somehow you're jumping into something that has nothing to do with you. So in my personal opinion, female Kanye, a.k.a. Akbar, needs to take the same advice that she's trying to doll out to Tamar Braxton. So then... um, Somebody named Mr. L. Davis responds to Akbar on Neighborhood Talk, and they say, what does money got to do with anything? So Tamar ends up responding back as well. And Tamar says, yeah, because we all got a cute coin. And in my situation, my man has his own without my name or business. The shade, honey. So after this went viral again, Tamar then took to social media and she said this. Trying hard to hold my peace. I haven't been this triggered in a long time. I have changed, but I'm also human. Please be patient with me. Trust me, I'm going through it, mad with myself, forgetting to breathe. But it feels like I keep getting poked. This too shall pass. So that's what Tamar had to say. And then Lily finally got word of all the drama and Lily responded back to Akbar. So Lily says, so who's playing with your cousin? I'm not understanding at I am Akbar V. So then 
Akbar ends up saying, what have I gotten myself into? And so folks started dragging her like, that's what you get. Why would you even come for Lili? Why would you even speak on the situation? So then after that, Akbar comes back ranting some more. And Akbar says, ain't no way I said what I got myself into about this situation. Stop playing with me, sweetie. All y'all. What I said about my family stands, stop playing with my cousin. That's what I'm talking about. Just woke up in my trailer. Why y'all playing with me? Then she goes on to say, and let it be clear at Lily Lyons. I don't disrespect my elders, so let's keep it cute, auntie. Then Lily goes on to say, so what is it that you want, niece? Do I have to give you a quick face bath so you can smell what the rock is cooking? But you ain't even good at that, LOL. I'm a pretty bitch niece at my age. What? You got the wrong one, baby. Uh Uh-uh. Like I said before, at I am Akbar V. So Lili is not scared of Akbar, honey. She wants that smoke. I keep telling y'all, y'all gonna stop harassing Lili. She's from the Bronx. She ain't nobody's punk, okay? So then Lili goes on to respond to another Twitter user. This person says... People may have more money than you, but you have something money can't buy. It's priceless. Hashtag Rocco voice. So then Lily says, you already know I could care less about who got more money than me. It's levels to this shit. They're making shit something that it's not, but I'm here for it, girl. All right, so you guys just heard the back and forth. It is a lot going on. The entire situation is crazy as hell. But I mean... It'll probably die down by the end of the week. But I think Akbar is involving herself once again because it's attention. Um, It has nothing to do with her. Granted, her and Candy are cousins. But when Akbar was going through it a few months ago with Cardi B and, you know, that whole back and forth on social media, I didn't see Candy one time involve herself or say anything. You know, Candy just kind of kept it moving. So I just find it funny that all of a sudden Akbar is coming with the cape and is involving herself in this whole situation. But anyways, I leave the question up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Akbar, Tamar, and Lily of SWV going back and forth on social media. Do you agree with what Akbar is saying? That people need to stop messing with her cousin. It's really jealousy because Candy makes the most money. Or do you agree with the other ladies who are saying that what does money have to do with anything? You know, we all get a bag out here. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Can't wait to check them out. Make sure you hit a like button on the video. Feel free to share it. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. In the event YouTube has unsubscribed you. Once again, thank you for taking time out to watch this video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.